Well, good morning everybody and welcome back to the channel. Much appreciate for your visit uh, today. Well, what we're going to talk about today is uh, we're going to go through the um, the TFT dash, the display on the, the 2020 Street Triple RS, 765 RS. And uh, we'll pull over somewhere. We'll pull over in here, next to this lovely broad. Oh, try not to squash the ducks. <laughs> right, so here we have it, the uh, 2020 Triumph uh, Street Triple 765 RS TFT display. Let's turn her on. Hopefully there's not too much glare on the screen. Um, should be okay. You get that nice welcome, welcome message on there, plus your, your uh, mileage and your countdown to the service, which is 300 days. Um, this is actually in um, night mode at the moment. It's in auto, but it's very dark out here, so let's clicked onto the auto. Um, you can actually adjust that on this cursor, on this stick here, should you want to. Let's move it across. That's oh, just gone on to day mode there, so. But yeah, you can move it across on the cursor, have it on high, low, or the auto. So it's currently on the auto, but I can move it across to the to the to the night mode which will flick it back onto that one and that will stay onto that one but I like to keep it on auto so what you can also do with this stick is you can move the stick down um, well first of all we'll talk about what's on the actual display so you've got your fuel your fuel gauge your outside temperature you've got your obviously your tachograph here which I'll show you when I start the bike up in a bit you've got your engine temperature here and your time here and the lights on the outside here, um, th these would be your indicators. Left one, right one, cancel the indicators, just press the button in, in the middle. Um, the next one down is your, um, your, your high beam. That one there. And that's your daytime runner lights, uh, light indicator there. So if you put it on your main beam, that will go off. And then high beam, low beam. Just from this trigger here so what else have we got yeah we've got the abs light flash in there that will actually stop once you start uh, rolling on the bike uh, and just below there you've got a low fuel indicator so when your fuel reaches a certain low level that will come on um yes yeah, so it's very crisp not too bad it's also adjustable on this on this uh pivot here which is very useful if you've got sun glare they do do spring uh, screen protectors um, which also assists with, with glare, which are very good. Um, so yeah, another thing you have on this side is your oil light, and below that is your engine management light, which you don't really want to see covered on, to be honest. Right, okay then. So, let's move on to the home button, which is this one here. So we'll press the home button, and that'll take you into the riding modes. Again, all adjustable by this joystick here. So what we'll do is we'll We'll start off with the riding modes. We'll click on there. Um, so yeah, ride, uh, rider, rain, road, sport, track. Um, you can go in and customize. We've also got reset to defaults at the bottom there. You can go into the rider one and customize uh, your rider settings. Uh, this is all. This is all set for um, my own spe uh, specification. The map should be sport. And then you've also got <coughs> traction control which is off so traction control is off um, you can actually adjust that but i like to leave it off on the rider mode pull some stonk and wheelies <laughs> so back down move down to the bike setup click on that and um, you've got uh, tsa which stands for triumph shift assist which is probably a quick shift or an auto blipper known to most people uh, and that's enabled i like to keep that enabled you can disable it but then you you would lose that feature and you'd have to use the clutch. Indicators, um, we've got auto basic, auto advanced and manual. Well, the auto basic, I believe, that's for your self-canceling indicators. They go off after a certain distance traveled on the bike, um, which I leave on, I like to leave on. Uh, auto advanced, I believe, has got um, an additional feature where once, you, once you've made the turn, and the bike is um, tilted, uh, sat back uh, upright again, the indicators will cancel so i like to keep it on the auto basic traction control i leave that on in, the, in my normal menu in my normal riding service 
click on service. So what this has got is it's got the countdown. This is to your your next service due. So this is due in 5,325 miles or 300 days. So we go back on that. All I'm doing is just going back is just moving the stick to the left there and that will go back. So go down to the trip setup. So you've got uh, one, two, you've got two trips. You can display trip and have a look. So that's enabled, so that'll display the trip. And um, we go back on that. Display setup. Well, this is for your color, for your actual uh, display. So we can click on that. I, I like the, if you click on the color, click on that one. Yeah, okay. There are your different colors. Um, brightness. You can go up and down with your brightness. High contrast, low contrast. I like to keep it up. So uh, we go just go back on that one on the cursor. Um, same again, brightness, low contrast. You can you can adjust that by moving the stick up and down to to move that. So you go left to go back, and to adjust that you'd go up up or down on the little cursor stick. Uh, visible trays. Now this is what you can see on your main dash. So I've I've got everything on there because fuel status, service interval, colour, style, contrast, everything, everything really. So gear shift indicator, I believe I've got that turned off. Um, you, can, you can have that turned on if you wish. Language, yeah, we're not gonna mess with the language. Um, Bluetooth, you can connect to Bluetooth, mod have a Bluetooth module installed on the bike, which will give you, um, will open up all the access to um, your connectivity for your Triumph Bluetooth module, for your phone, your music, uh, devices. So you can click on, well, you can connect up, um, you know, all sorts of devices uh, to that, a headpiece, um, yeah. So that's very useful. Um, you can also connect up a GoPro, should you want to connect up a GoPro, uh, which would be useful as well. What a lovely day, actually. The actual, the wind's starting to get up a bit now, but very nice. Um, oh, it's not going to roll there. <clears throat> so lap timer, if, you, if you're on the track, I know you're not supposed to use lap timers on the track, but you start session. It's all done again by this cursor. So you could set, you could set the lap timer up. Uh, yeah, erase lap data. Well, I, haven't, I haven't used that, so reset to defaults. We don't want to be doing that. So that's pretty much it in a nutshell, really. Just a quick overview of the, you know, the, the dash on the 2020, well, the latest um, Street Street Triple 765 RS. Um, what else can I tell you, really? It's very crisp, very nice display. Like I say, you can, you can get um, screen protectors, um, you know, which, which also I believe double up as anti-glare screen as well. Um, which are very useful. But what I can also do actually is go press the home button. That takes us back to the main screen. And yeah, I'll start the bike up and you can see, uh, oh, I'll have to pull the clutch in, try and do it. There we go. Just what I'm saying about the rev can, it's quite, I've done another video on, on sort of this, but it's very difficult to see what the rev, revs are doing. But what you can actually do uh, I find it easier to read when it's on the night mode. So if we go down to, probably gone the long way here, long, uh, the long way round. Yeah, I have. But if you hit on the, the night mode, this is where your, your colours are more noticeable, the yellow, which I've selected. I find that a bit easier to, uh, to read. But I do like to keep it on the auto. So we've got that back there, right. Okay, so we'll turn the bike back off. Um, talk about the screen there. So you can also change, uh, where we, if we go into this one, I'm in style one at the moment. So this is the style one screen. Style two will give you um, slightly different, different screen, which you'll have this one. So if you see here, we've got, I'm scrolling up and down by the, the stick again. So this is just displaying, um, obviously your lap timer there, it's telling you you're on the lap timer setting. Uh, revs, this is quite handy actually, if you struggle to read this section of the rev counter, because you can, you know, this is obviously a lot larger to read. Um, still 
a bit of a pain nevertheless but uh, this is for your music for your that's for your music that's if you wanted to connect a GoPro here so your GoPro you could control your Go, GoPro through through your, uh, your switch gear although you would need the Bluetooth module uh, this would be for your turn by turn navigation again you need the Bluetooth module to connect your phone call history SMS uh, this is quite a useful one so this is your distance uh, this is obviously just the trip though it's not the total miles um, of the bike which you only I believe only see when you turn the ignition on and you turn the ignition off on the bike so yeah that's a shame really but uh, it's got your average speed which I find that hard to believe <laughs> so uh, duration and uh, we'll move down another one here average uh, fuel consumption all of this will become live once the bike starts rolling oh we've got some little friends coming towards us here look hello 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 oh my god they're gonna start attacking me oh <laughs> they come to have a look at the triumph oh don't know if i trust the mother so anyway yeah we move down uh, this is again you've got your service due uh your due date or your mileage whatever comes sooner and yeah that's about it really so anyway it's just a quick overview on the oh i can't i haven't been through the other displays uh go back to the display I keep going the long way around on the stick there you go uh, this one so style three it just seems to get smaller the actual main display there seems to get smaller so style four the final one which is that one that takes it over to the to the right hand side which yeah i like i say i prefer oh, one second I'm trying to work it out myself here we go up to the style so back to style one which is the one i prefer yeah and that's it so that's that's a, a good overview of um yeah the tft display so if you've got any comments or questions feel free to uh to drop drop a comment or hit the like button and uh yeah thanks for joining me and uh hopefully i'll see you on the next video take care see ya